chicken ear corn again. This video is actually going to be uh, from field to grinding into cattle feed. I'll actually show you me picking it here as you can see. Then I'm going to take that same wagon that I'm picking right now up, get the feed grinder out with the 560, and grind it into cattle feed with our recipe. This will be a lot shorter pieces. I mean, it'll be a decently length video, but it'll be a lot uh, less of everything. It'll have everything in it, so it'll be less time showing everything. If you want more in detail, go check out my last video on picking ear corn. Or I have quite a few videos out on grinding cattle feed. Some of those are doing pretty good. A lot of people are still watching them, so... I'm assuming if they keep getting views, keep getting likes, keep getting comments you guys like them so if you haven't checked those out go and check them out one of them's like a year old now but it's over 50,000 views so that's pretty good sorry that I keep pausing talking I'm trying to talk only while I'm looking at the camera so you can hear me but I got to keep looking back forward to make sure I'm going in the right direction not getting off the road too far I always get off a little farther while I'm talking to you guys. But yeah, if you're interested in ear corn from field to plate for cattle, this is the video for you. I'll show you a little bit of the recipe we use, but I got some out on the recipe. Go back and look at grinding cattle feed part two recipe or it's something like that. That's what the one that has 50,000 plus views. I go a little more in detail on that. I'll talk about it a little bit in this video too. I think we have a pretty good recipe. Our cows look good. Maybe I'll show you the cows once at the end of the video. All the cows, the feedlot that we feed this to. But yep, picking ear corn with new idea two row ear corn picker and it is a wide row I think 36 or 38 inch rows but we picked 30 inch rows with it that's why you see me knocking down just a little bit it's not a big deal though if we waste a little bit out here because we run the cattle on the corn stalks after we're done harvesting so they'll clean up anything we knock over and the tractor I'm pulling this with is the International 1486. And then I'll be grinding feed with the New Holland 354, I believe it is, grinder mixer. And I'll be running that with my Farmall 560 that you'll see here in a couple minutes. I'll pull the wagon up with it too. But, I'll talk to you guys in a few. Well, that's a pretty good load of ear corn. Yeah, there's some husk in it, but that doesn't matter. Like I say, it's just cattle feed. It's going up to get ground up right now. Pulling it with my 560. Going to get it up there, get it in the spot. And then I'll get the feed grinder out with the 560. Get it hooked up and ready to go. Get the supplement and then we'll be grinding feed and i'll get you some video of that talk about the supplement we use and whatnot so talk to you then all right so i've gone over this before i'll go over it again real quick uh we use soybean meal 45.7 percent uh protein from Grotech. Uh, Agland Beef Maker 6 has all that in it. A little bit of salt, calcium, phosphorus, 
magnesium, potassium, copper, iodine, whole periodic table on there pretty much. Everything the cow needs supplement wise. And then uh, we get all this from GrowTech. Check them out. Uh, link in the description. I've talked about them before. If you're interested in a little bit more about it, I got more videos on it. Give them a call if you need supplement for your feed. Uh, they do pretty much supplement for every kind of feed you can imagine. They'll make something that works. They're great. Uh, we use yeast. It really helps the cows break down the corn and get every last bit of nutrients out of it. 15 pounds of yeast. And then on the bottom of this I have salt, so this one I put the salt on top just so you can see it. Just pure white salt, and then you can see the yeast is underneath that. 8 pounds of salt, 15 pounds of yeast, I just dump them both in one bucket, that way I only got two buckets. And you use 75 pounds, at least we use 75 pounds of Agland Beef Maker 6, 300 pounds of 47.5% soybean meal. And we do that per every uh, ground corn on the cob is a full tank of 4,500 pounds. So every 4,500 pounds has 300 pounds soybean meal, 75 pounds of Agland Beef Maker 6, 15 pounds of Grotex yeast, and 8 pounds of salt. And yep, we just dump it all right in here because it doesn't need ground up since it's already fine. Corn goes in there, through there, get you a little bit of video of that. Old 560 is going to be working. Yep, it's dirty. That's uh, how we use them. Don't have time. Got a lot of comments saying we need to clean up our tractors. Uh, work full-time job and farm on the side, so no time for that. Eventually that tractor will probably get restored, but until then it's going to stay dirty and working. It gets parked in a shed every night, so not going to get any better than that. All right, so I'm going to get to grinding. Sun's going down. I still got some ear corn to fix, so got to get it. All right, so I'll show you one of the really cool features on the 560s. See this lever? It's the clutch. So as we're the 14 and that, it kind of just it grabs and goes. This, I can slowly see it just barely start to move. I can slowly grab it and look at that it's engaged I really like that you're not slamming anything into gear uh, you can really ease it in you can hear anything that makes noise
right, so got that done. See it, how I get that in there? I had to pull the tractor head. I pull it up to about there, swing it out up against that tire, back it up with it swung out, and it just swings right underneath there, sets down right there. Then it's all the way underneath. No need for a chute. Uh, you always get a little bit of spillage out of the chute. See how clean it is? I picked up probably a dozen ears from grinding uh, two and a half tank loads. That's pretty good. A dozen ears for two and a half tank loads. Got good load of feed on there. Two and a half tank loads. That's going to be almost a month of feed. And I'll be grinding out of a wagon the next time as well. Just because once we get done picking, I'll grind up a bunch. I'll fill all the wagons, the grinder and everything. And then I'll also fill the wagons up with ear corn. That way I can grind out of them for a while before I have to break into the crib. It, the crib's about half full, so we'll get you some more video here pretty soon of uh, picking ear corn, I'm sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the picking the ear corn all the way to the grind and the feed, the recipe. Now, now this is the corn. Nice, fine, ground up corn. Cows can digest it real well. The yeast helps them get absolutely everything they can out of it. Uh, makes good healthy cows now I'm just gonna back the grinder in the shed it's empty got to get my truck out of the way probably leave the wagon there I'll just haul it out next time I go out to the field with the 560 take the grandpa's 560 back out to the feed shed and to put the feed away for the night and I think we're gonna call it a day it's sun's going down nice sunset over there so don't forget to like video subscribe to the channel uh, drop a comment and as always have a good one